Hey, back for more Shakespeare. We're still working on Hamlet. We are in Act 3, Scene 3 today, and we get to hear from Claudius. At the beginning of the scene, so there's been this play within a play thing that happened wherein the audience of Hamlet and the audience within the play both see Claudius get really startled when somebody pours poison in the king's ear. And Hamlet has taken this to mean that Claudius did actually kill King Hamlet, and he's now plotting for some various things. Hamlet is on his way to speak to his mother in her room because that was part of the plan even before the play within a play, was that um, Gertrude would talk to Hamlet while Polonius hides behind the curtains and overhears what he says so they can try to figure out what's going on with him. Meanwhile, Claudius wants to send Hamlet away to England just to get rid of him, and he's sending him with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, whom he has just dispatched to take care of that. And then Polonius is like, I'm gonna go into uh, Gertrude's room and, and remind her of how she should be with Hamlet and I'll hide behind the closet. And Claudius gets this soliloquy um, in the thing, um, starting off with, like everybody has just left the stage and he's saying goodbye to them, but, but he says, thanks, dear my lord. Oh, my offense is rank. It smells to heaven. It hath the primal eldest curse upon it, a brother's murder. Pray can I not, though inclination be as sharp as will. My stronger guilt defeats my strong intent. And like a man to double business bound, I stand in pause where I shall first begin and both neglect. What if this cursed hand were thicker than itself with brother's blood? Is there not rain enough in the sweet heavens to wash it white as snow? Where to serves mercy but to confront the visage of offense? And what's in prayer but this twofold force to be forestalled ere we come to fall or pardoned being down? Then I'll look up. My fault is past. But oh, what form of prayer can serve my turn? Forgive me, <laughs> my foul murder. That cannot be since I am still possessed of those effects for which I did the murder. My crown, mine own ambition, and my queen. May one be pardoned and retain the offense. In the corrupted currents of this world, offense's gilded hand may shove by justice, and oft, tis seen, the wicked prize itself buys out the law, but tis not so above. There is no shuffling. There the action lies in his true nature, and we ourselves compelled even to the teeth and forehead of our faults to give an evidence. What then? What rests? Try what repentance can, what can it not? Yet, what can it when one cannot repent? O oh, wretched state, O oh, bosom, black as death, O oh, limed soul that struggling to be free art more engaged, help. Angels, make a say. Bow stubborn knees and heart with strings of steel be soft as sinews of the newborn babe. All may be well. So this is an interesting little insight into Claudius. It could be that he actually feels bad about things. It could be that he feels bad about being caught for doing things. It could be that he knows that Hamlet is entering the room right behind him and sort of wants him to overhear this. Anyway, tomorrow we get to hear from Hamlet, who's just been entering behind Claudius, and we'll see what happens. <gasps> I'll see you then. Mwah.